How do people without gravity powers get around this town? You're there. Oh, I remember you. You're the girl that did, uh, you know, uh, something, right? Yes, that's me. Got it in one. Uh, does the girl who can shift gravity ring a bell? There are only like two of us that I'm aware of. Ah, oh, yes, that's what it was, of course. Speaking of things the way they are now, has anything unusual happened the last few days? You know, like a giant navy roaring through the rift, or the army patrolling all the time, a giant flying centipede, giant flying temple appearing in the sky. If anything like that showed up, the army would blow it away. That's not very helpful. My grandson's in the army, you know. I'm glad he found his calling, but he never finds the time to visit his poor old grandmother. Oof. <laughs> this this could take a while. And Cat just nopes right out of that conversation. Let's see who this is. to you eventually, you and your giant hat. Please help me, I'm falling, dot mp3. Yeah, that, mm, that about sums it up. I need your help. Can you use your powers to help me find Raven, Zaza, and Cyania? Any one of them. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're probably still clumped up together. Zaza only knows how to stay still when he's lost, so... That's not the happy face. What do your elf eyes see? Something seems to be interfering. I only see bits and pieces. Static on the line. Hate when that happens psychically. They are close, yet they are far. Okay, this is not helping at all. At least means they're out here. Just have to be patient and believe they'll return at some point. That's a terrible plan. Let's do it. Okay. Looks like that's all I'm going to get out of this. Let's head back to the... How do I get above the sewers? She probably just needs to refresh her crystal balls. Try hitting F5! Up. Now down. Inside. Alright, let's try another part of the city. We'll just go through these one at a time. Now we enter the long, dark quest line of the soul. That one's very nearby. Oh, I thought it was very nearby. Everything's relative, I guess. Come to me, my pretties. Listen, I'm gonna get to you in a second, but uh, first... Nom, 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 nom. Okay. Right. Missing children, very important. Probably more important than XP. You are down there. Whoop. Funk. Oh! It's like a greatest hits of all the NPCs I talked to before. Thank goodness the Nevi are gone, but now it looks like a big old 24-hour military parade marching around outside my window. I hear gunshots practically every day. It's like the town I grew up in. I barely recognize the city anymore, which is weird because I helped put it back together. Feels like we're being watched. Ah, CCTV. Always a jerk. See the takeaway people who try to complain? Maybe we were safer with the Nevi. See, I like the way you think. 
Uh, that was a manhole, not a information point. Oh. Dee -dee -dee. Pardon me, good folks. Whoop. Parkour. Alright. Halfway done. Yep, there. My kingdom for a mouse. Well, that's an odd place to find someone. Hello, friend! Interesting, you getting up here. What with the lack of ladder? Nice railings, though. The army took the gravity generator away before we could even finish working on it. Okay, that explains how you got up here. I like now all the NPCs' clothes are less colorful now that Steampunk Nazis have taken over. <laughs> they took all the colors with them. It was the first to go. Gravity generator. The big round thing that was on top of the tower. Now they've got us building more weapons. Can you believe that? Well, president of our company got hauled off for talking back. We don't have much choice but to shut up and do what they say. See, this is why unions are so important. Alright, that's it for this area. Hopefully. Well, we only have one more area of the mega city to investigate. Oh, hello! Yes, please. Thank you. the road. You were not on my map. All the way down. There we go. Hi there. You, uh, you doing okay? Oh no, another ghost. Oh, crap. I've been wandering the world for ages, thinking no one could ever see me again. Who are you? What makes you different? Well, I have a cat. Wonderful to meet you. I thought I really was a ghost. Okay, so are you not a ghost? See, after we met the second one of these dudes, I really thought that they were ghosts. Because the first lady was like, no one can see me. Now I'm going back to my first theory. Singlor. I'm a scientist. There was an accident at the lab. It gave me these superpowers. Oh, okay, so you two are a matched set. Energy that was released knocked my wife and I into a different space-time dimension, so she was the first one I met. So the middle guy was just a straight-up ghost. Okay, that's good to know. That, that ties that knot. The gravity field that surrounds this world is so powerful that it distorts the passage of time. Uh, huh? Is it me? Or did you just vanish for a second? Perhaps you're being able to see me as a result of our respective space-time dimensions overlapping. In which case, poof. Alright, there are apparently 13 more travelers that I can meet. That's kind of cool. Yep, there we are. I see... I did! Probably work on reorienting here. Oh gosh, it's just a smorgasbord. My favorite kind of board. This game needs to fucking land on whether these are ghosts or if they're space-time distorted as a metaphor for them being ghosts. Yeah, so the the first one I met, who was apparently Singlor's wife, was the one who seemed like she was dimension-shifted and was 
at least by her own reckoning, still alive and well. The second one I met literally called himself a ghost and was waiting for a letter and then talked about moving on to the other side. And now we've met Singlor. So it's very possible that we have ghosts and dimension shifted people in the same universe, just to be confusing. Alrighty, that's a lot of little doodads. Not seeing. Oh, one more. And then we'll get back to actual, like, questing. Did I say one more? I meant four more. Hello, friends! Let me love you. There we go. And down. Where's my nearest manhole? Right over there. Nope, over there. Whoop. Hi! Sorry. A little awkward. Did I just see... I did. Hello, sneaky friends trying to hide from me. Whoop. Thank you. For your generous contribution to the cause. This is just gonna be fun. <laughs> Whoop. Now down. And over. Alright. Uh, last island. Let's go center of mass. Let's see if you have a quest marker for me. Or more information givers. Well, there's some information givers right off the bat. Aha! Quest marker! It's always in the last place you look, you know? I'm gonna talk to these people anyway, though. Hey! My boy from school! What's up? We were worried sick about you! It's been ages! It's been a year. Don't hyperbole. I'm glad she's doing okay. Have either of you seen anything that looks like a giant flying temple? Cat, if you describe it, it also looks like a chicken. That might help. Just in case there are other flying temples. Okay, so no one has seen the Ark. New school curriculum. All the students have to go, even if they don't want to. There's a draft, because of course there is. Awesome. Fascism, everyone. Hexville is now officially Hellsville. Right. Let's get this sorted out. Okay, so it's straight below me. Good to know. Do to do. Wee. Yep. 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 Hello there. Are uh, you looking for something? I'll see. Blah. <laughs> Did you get those in the Cracker Jack box? <laughs> you, you're the Gravity Queen. Oh, wonderful. It's been it's been gone for so long. Where's it been? A year? At least one dude still remembers me, but why does it have to be this guy? The smile is not helping. The name's Adro. Everyone's been waiting for the Queen to make her triumphant return. Have they, though, or is it just you? Oh, cat, you sweet summer child. Uh, did you need help with something? I dropped something critical to my research. My boss is going to kill me. You know, in this version of Hexville, I believe that. I hope this turns out better than the last time someone dropped something. <laughs> ah, quest memory. Wonderful story edition. My case, with all my data! I was transferred to military research after the change in government, and that new boss of mine never gets off my back. <laughs> Hello! You've caught me in the middle of making my gecko masks! How are you today? <laughs> you didn't quite finish the whole eyes. <laughs> Things feel different with the military ramping up. Everyone in Hexville seems a little on edge. I feel like there's a, a, a lesson in there somewhere? I, I don't know. It's, 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 it's very subtle. A case? No problem. That that case, my job is toast. To think I'd be the first person the Gravity Queen would help after her year off. Yeah, yeah. I, I just his uh, his whole face deal is is kind of it it concerns me. 
episode 18, bringing back the case. Don't worry, Edro, I'm on the case. Seriously? I had to, it was right there. All right, so I have no idea where the case is, except down here. Hey, look, Devi. How's that military working out for you guys? Yeah, that oppressive military rule. But at least it keeps the Nevi away, right? Yeah. And the trains run on time. Yep. But, uh... Come here to case. Woo-hee-hee. Listen, Adro, I don't mean to get on your case or anything, but uh, here's your stuff. You really saved my bacon. I don't know how the city managed to survive so long without you. Well, the oppressive government might have had something to do with it. Ah, but what a wonderful job you did of it. I hate to ask, but I have another small favor. Could you set these sensors up for me? I... I don't trust this guy as far as I can throw him, and I can throw him really dang far. The Nevi are what I'm at here researching, hence my ridiculous mask. Oh, I thought it was a cosplay thing. Yes, a disturbance was discovered in the gravitational field near one of the rumored Nevi hotspots. They have hotspots? Turn down the Wi-Fi. That nasty boss of mine sent me out to the thick of it to investigate the link between the gravitational disturbances and the Nevi appearances. Oh, so you got relegated to the Siberian listening post. Got it. You're that kind of employee. Let's that's, that's get to build a profile here. Seems a little cruel to send me out into danger to gather data for an experiment, doesn't it? I could be killed! But you just sent me over the edge. It, it doesn't matter. It's, it's okay. It's okay. If I return without any data, my boss will kill me just the same. I notice that this keeps coming up. Just need the sensor set up, right? Eh, if it's good for the city, I'll take care of it. Cat, I don't trust this dude. You will? I'll be forever in your debt, my queen. Yeah, it's the face. The face is not helping. Her name is Cat. No. Uh, the cat is right next to her. You just can't see because the dialogue is there. I'll, I'll work on it. We'll get back to Dusty. Rest assured, the data we get today will be a long way towards keeping Hexville safe in the future. There's Dusty. Press X to pet cat. Alrighty, uh, I wonder if I can grab all of them. Nope, I can grab one of them. It's the closest one. 90 yards. That way, got it. Like on the underside of that. Oh. Yes, okay. Oh, look! Nevi! the thing? Did I lose it? Feels like I lost it. Yeah, definitely lost it. Alright. Do to do, let's grab some more health. We'll go back up. Yep, that is four sensors. So who are we sending out to the dangerous fact-finding mission? Well, Adro is still wearing that mask from Halloween. <laughs> Alright. Let's try this again without the Nevi. And one. Okay. Good. So I need it here. Grab some XP while we're down here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And one for you. Last one. <laughs> Zoom! Oh, 
Oh, hey, health. Now pause for just a hot second to spend some of this glorious XP we've got. Gauge usage, health, recovery time. All pretty darn good. We haven't used regular kick in a while. Gravity kick is maxed out. Haven't used evade in a while. I haven't really needed stasis field, so I'm not going to worry about that. Spiraling Claw is maxed out. Alright, so I could do Typhoon. I haven't used Black Hole at all. Yeah, let's go ahead and max out Typhoon. Now we're gonna go back to 4. Let's do... Health for 500, Alex. And then we'll do Gauge Usage. Okay. That'll keep us alive and defying gravity a little bit longer. Carry like ten more of these. Come with me, box friends. your face for a moment. <laughs> that's, that's why you got that mask, right? For protection. Alright. The penultimate. Now we find the dark secret of what I've enabled here. Which are all mini ones, aren't they? That's a lot of work for not nearly enough XP. Alright. Back we go. Whoop, ba ba, down. Yoink! Where are we going? Where are we going? Over there. This will be interesting. Good, he's got plenty. That makes me feel better. Hmm. Alright. I see what I did. I thought it ran out pretty quickly. Got it. I need a talent that increases my, like, 
grab radius. Just to be extra thorough. Boop. Okay, okay. On the other hand, I get to do it again with less Nebby in the way. That's true. It's like the first one. I don't actually think I can place it until they're clear. But I could be wrong on that front. Whee! I'm just glad they didn't have Nevi at every single one of them. Unnecessarily long. Alright. Now, what hath I wrought? I'm saying this was a lot more like bombs than sensors. See? See? We're on the same page. Welcome back! I'm terribly sorry about this, but there's a teeny tiny little favor I still have to ask, you see? Forgot to flip the switch on one of the sensors. I hate to be a bother, but could you go back and turn it on for me? If this is that alias jackass, although I thought I took care of him. Alright, sure. It did seem kind of funny that it wasn't working like the others when I set it up. Curse my scattered brain! It's the source of so much trouble. You know, I believe that. And where there's trouble, you can bet my boss will be there to give me grief for it. Ugh, okay. I wish I could get my act together. You're laying it on way too thick for a dude wearing a mask that looks like a chameleon. I'm just saying. Oh, cat, you sweet summer child. What if I can choose to not do it? Probably not. The last time I tried to defy the game, it just forced me back in. Which is a shame, because dang, it's fun. whoop a bum First, because I know how obnoxious you are otherwise. You're pretty easy. Got some distance here. What's up, Lancer? Oh, missed him. Who's that other one I'm seeing? You. That's what I'm seeing. None for you. Well timed. Around behind him. Yes! That was unfortunate. Yep, thank you. There we go. That's right, done for you. Alright. So maybe the sensors are attractors. Oh, that's right. Ailey's threw a bunch of Nevi out of his tummy. I forgot about that. I don't know if it's just a coincidence, but the moment I flipped that switch, I got swarmed. Oh, oh, that! I knew there was something I forgot to mention. You jackass. Oh, you see, the sensor puts out a weak gravitational field that seems drawn that seems to draw in Nevi like flies to honey. The problem was first recognized during the prototype phase. And never got fixed? That seems like a bug that QA should have caught. After all the costs were considered, it was decided we'd just take our chances with the version we had. <laughs> ah, I see you were developing an Agile. Even knowing that, they sent you out here alone. That's right, I made an Agile joke. Just one of my many woes. The first being my face. And uh, anyway, I hate to ask this, but after all the trouble you had with the last sensor, there's actually one more sensor I need set up. Jeez, with this guy. 
If you're so forgetful, maybe you should consider a different line of work. Thank you, cat. If you don't help me, I'll be fired before I even get the chance to look for a new job. Thrown to the sewers to live like a bum. Hey, hey. I live in the sewers, pal. Along with my four turtle friends and their rat master. Okay, just one more sensor. Clip to the ground, please. Clip the right ground, please. Thank you. Okay. Where are we going with this one? Oh! At least it's in the neighborhood. Like, very in the neighborhood. Suspiciously close. Ah, oh, hell. Okay, I was correct. I cannot drop that one off until I defeat the enemy. Oh, come on. Ah, you suck. Okay. There. This is going to take a little bit. There we go. One. Okay. Uh, some health would be lovely. Not seeing it though. That's not bad though. Health! Hello, health! Because who knows what's coming next. Let's try that again. Boop! That was adorable. You. Alright! Okay. Oh, the subterranean ones are back. Almost, though. Oh, I guess I did hit that dude. Oh, come on. Yay! Let's go and grab you. Over here. Let's forget about you guys. Hooray! Or the uh, too far. Oh should have saved that super huh? Hey Jake! Welcome! I really wish I understood the hitboxes on those games better. Wait, oh, nope. Get the little guy. Come on. Yay! Not nice. Hey, what did you get another one? I thought I got all of those guys. Not, uh, not cool, guys. Oh, come on. Yeah, alright, we're done with you. Alright, where'd you go, Squirmy? Oop. 
upside down. Gross red guys are starting to show up in force. It's probably a steampunk Nazi conspiracy. That, that honestly, uh, I think I'm literally involved in that right now. I've met this new guy uh, with like weird gecko glasses, who I'm pretty sure has enlisted me in helping to doom the city. Weird. That normally targets a little bit better. Dude, dude, let's grab this while I'm hanging out. And get away. Come on, big fella. Bring that arm in. This is probably mo mo oh, Come on. That's on me. That's totally on me. This is probably the most Dark Souls looking villain I've run into. Oh, yeah. Who's left? Okay, that was just him taking a long time to die. <laughs> oh, up, oh, hey, yep, there we are. Here he is. Meet Gecko Man, Adro. Why is there another sensor over there? Ah, oh, the creepy smile just makes my skin crawl every time. Oh, that old thing? Don't worry, it's just a spare. I don't know where this voice is going. I don't even think it works, to be honest. Thanks to you, I've got all the data I need. Okay, I'm taking that thing with me. Maybe I'll just cast it out over the ocean here. Blowing these sensors up. Sky high! Can't just leave them running. That last part almost made sense. Right, yes, my house is currently surrounded by red fuckers thanks to Gearbound Hitler. <laughs> I love when science ends with a bang. Oh boy. Oh no! I'll never make my airboat on time. Oh, thank god. Can you take me to the top of the clock tower? Can I drop you into the sea? Put that nothing up, he's right there. Alright, let's try it again. Cat, I need you to flip to the thing I'm pointing you at, please. Time to missions. Not great for my anxiety, I gotta tell you. It's fine, we got this. With time to spare. What is this guy? Some kind of Adam Savage? Okay, I guess we're not done. It's weird to have a second cutscene in the middle of that, I guess. So that's clearly just a waypoint to go here. All right. To go. Did you just have me go down to go up? So much. Oh come on! Well, I got my wish. I dropped him into the sea. Okay, so the game does not, in fact, let me kill him. Uh, you're giving me 46 seconds to do the whole thing? That's not happening, guys. All right, we're gonna let this quest timer run out so we can reset, and we'll start over from scratch. We are not doing Mythic Dungeon on hard mode with my uh, tendency to tilt on timed missions. 
do you remember? So we'll use this time to bring our friend around to see his handiwork. Okay, there we go. Huh, alright. Okay, you know what? This interface occasionally... There we go. It's not quite as precise as I would like. But I think this thing started on like the PlayStation Vita, so that's not terribly surprising. Speedfall! Okay, that's the kind of crap that I'm not a big fan of. But give me a waypoint and then shift the waypoint. Okay, come on. Down. Land! On the right. Thank you. Now pick him back up again. Alright, so we've got to get to this checkpoint for reasons passing understanding. And then you in a completely different direction. Okay. Don't you let's get a move on me, pal. I'm doing you a favor. Alright, so I went up to go That's right, buddy. Because you can't walk on your own, I will kindly take you to your freaking Airbus. Maybe now I won't lose your job. Say hi to your scary boss for me. Yep, just as creepy. Yep. New Heralia. Looks like the Magitech facility from Final Fantasy VI. And that still looks like the dude from Red Faction. My apologies, Mayor. Lovely. You could have sent someone else. I like getting my hands dirty. Oh, man, I'm so glad I'm not actually here for this conversation. I dropped you off the world once, dude. I can do it again. That cat of hers was blowing out my equipment with the numbers I was getting off of it. Yeah, Dusty's pretty great. You go from my cat, you get the heels, pal. I'll have the jellyfish grab it. We haven't found Satya. So I'll have to make do with the Gravity Queen. So I get a title and Satya is just Satya? Alright, it's fine. So you have jellyfish and now Project C and Emini. Not only is an Emini demonstration ready, she's ready to see action. What would an anemone action look like? Just swaying gently in the... It's, you know, it's not important. Sea Wasp! Being a match for it, the anemone are about to go extinct. And that's just the beginning. Is it? Oof. Christy, please send my sympathies to Zoo, because that sucks. The new mayor, Danelica, had expanded the military and his power. His vision reached out and changed the lives of everyone in Hexville. Why are you smiling? I had no way of knowing that this vision extended even to me, and that the scientist I had trusted, Adro, was a big part of it. The mask might have been a hint. Hooray! Reputation. Why do I feel so tired? The cat knows. Okay, so the, the sensor devices were also draining devices. Fabulous. Well... I'm kicking that dude's ass when I see him next. But in the meantime, let's head home. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. 
Wee. You know what? Uh, speed fall this one out. Coming in for landing. Begin re-entry protocol. Yeah. So I know it's not on this island. So we go here. Uh, track down this next main quest. And then save. Jake, I'm doing just fine. Uh, it's been a day. Uh, I dropped my phone and cracked the screen. But all in all, honestly, it's not been too terribly bad. There's been rumors of Kaguri getting signed to the Shanghai Dragons, which I'm very excited about. Uh, th there's been a lot of good stuff. Uh, we got our internet looked at, and while it wasn't quite the quick fix I was originally uh, suspecting it might be, we might still have slightly more stable connection for a bit. I don't want to jinx it. There, I just knocked on some wood. Um, so yeah, I mean, like, it really was not a bad day, but uh, it was the, the, there, were, the, there was a lot of today. You know what I mean? Such pretty glittery lights. Alright. Visuals are going to go out here for just a moment while I save. Because as 8-bit days taught me, save early, save often. There we go. Back out. I said yes. Yep. There we go. Was this really a necessary panel? Interesting that she's dreaming of Raven and Cyania. I'm just gonna leave that there. And also, I just, uh, I have so many questions. There's a bunch of cats, hon. It's a, it's a galaxy cat explosion. I thought you'd be excited. I want a game about just the galaxy cats. Well, there is a Gravity Rush 2. Uh, I mean, I, uh, I don't know. Hey, Alias! What's up, buddy? Oh, yeah. No, he's... Uh, yeah. Yes. Thank you, Christy, for, for getting ahead of me on that one. Uh, it, it sounds like there have been a number of days around the room. You are not taking my cat and apparently his entire litter of siblings. I get dressed in a hurry, huh? Yeah. He took the cat. He must die. Find all of Dusty. Alright, we have a one. There are 20 cats. Okay. Oh, grab the lip. Grab the lip! No, there's no... <laughs> okay. I love this stage. Whoop! Ah! Ow! <laughs> Little warning, huh, Dust? Uh, da -da -da -da. Nope. Alright, up the stairs we go. I have a fifth of a cat. Am I dreaming? Am I still asleep? All valid questions. I think some of my power is coming back. Alright, we are a third of the way to cat. Almost a third of the way to cat. Yeah, this uh, dead city sort of vibe is kind of creeping me out, Major. Alright, da da da. Clear the corners here. Raven! Fancy meeting you. Oh, and you faded away. I have so many questions. But, first, I must get my cat back. This is the area I started in. You're absolutely correct. Hey, Zaza. Bye, Zaza. Rip. Number eight. 
nine. Cyania, I hope you're using your power as creator to keep the kids safe. A good thought. A hopeful th thought. Dusty? When did you go all Puma? Oh, boy. Alright. Even if you find the rest of your cat, it won't matter. Will it matter to your face? When I kick it? Never mind, doesn't matter. My panther. Oh, it's your panther. We'll see to that. That's why it's red. I like her. God, I really hate those things a lot. You know what? Let's just go. Oh, no! I said down! Okay, now you're just being dicks. Not recognizing my dodging. Okay, let's peel out and take this through. There, let's get some help. Please clip. Thank you. Alright, well, one of you jerks is about to get super moved. It's gonna be you. I'm not getting it twice. Hooray! Kitty! Panther was hiding part of my cat. How ironic. Yo, dog, I heard you like cat, so I put some cat in your cat. Let's see if I can make it all the way there. Nope. All right. Well, that was dramatic for a miss. Oh, the frog hoppers. I forgot about these idiots. Yay! Alright, that wasn't bad. Come here, little guy. You are easy, I like you guys. Whoop. Missed me, Lancer. That was close, though. That's what I needed. Get out of there. Get out of there. Yep. Reacquiring home. There we are. Whoop. Right in the tush. Yeah. And now I'm sat eating dinner. Hooray! Dinner for the win. What a bit of up. Stop. Kitty. Kitty. All right. Doing pretty well on kitty collection. This makes me happy. Alright, Panther is there. So I got little guys first. Short overview. There we go. Away from the stupid flower. I really don't like these flowers. Luckily, I just sort of nope out of them occasionally. Whoop, bop, bop. Comes up with this. None for you. Gave them armor? Kind of sadist. Ugh, come on. Thank you. Keep moving. Keep moving. There we go. 
Christ. Just a ridiculous barrage. Yep. Yeah. Aha. All right. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. I absolutely did just say tush. I say tush a lot. It's one of my favorite words. Yep. And up. It's a very good word. Up. Uh, wow. Don't even recognize you under all that. Ported by a railing. Oh, good. That was, uh. That's all there was to you. Okay. This is gonna take a bit. Whoop. Reminds me of the magic pots. There. Yes. Yes. One more. Come on. And. Yes. Alright. Hit you. Come on. Nope. Oh. There we go. Aha. All he's down. Right in the butt. One more. Come on. Yay! Yes. Kaboom! The triple tush. Oh boy, big way. Biggin. Uh, two biggins. Have I seen one of you before? You look horrifying. I was not trying to wander around, you missed! Also, that was way too narrow of a window for mission boundaries. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, taking you both on... Oh, I forgot about your stupid hand. This is why I say that mission battery field is way too small. Ow! You can suplex them. Alright, uh, up. Wow, well, missed that one by a mile. Oop. attack that is uh, interrupt based and rapid fire is kind of mean. Just here to get my cat and kick Alias in the face. But mostly the cat. It's all about priorities. Uh, not really sure what happened there. Side. Kitty! Come on. Okay, we really gotta talk about your inability to walk around civil obstacles. Okay. I got my cat back. Power Schmauer, I wanted my cat back. Something feels different about you, Dusty. You, you doing okay? Uh, alrighty. It's very John Wick. I really need to see that. I've heard extremely good things. I'm very excited to see it. Let's see if we can knock out one big and start the timer. Super move. I see you, swordfish. And then I lost you because you have an ability to just... Disappear. None for you. Up a move. Turn around before he does the fisting thing. 
it's being a fisting thing. Alright, alright. Is there health anywhere in the vicinity? No. Great. Health? Health? Anyone? My kingdom for a green thing. Fuck it. Oh, you kidding me? The hand goes through walls. Fantastic. I'm one hit from death. Okay. Again, with the mission confine area. Just not being nice. John Wick, both of them, awesome. Uh, if you really love technical super Herbly done fight scenes. Yes, that's that is everything I've heard. That's why I'm so excited to see them. <laughs> Gone with the wind, they ain't. Frankly, Scarlet, I don't give a damn. I'm here for the wonderful fight scenes and the I'm just here for my dog. It's a very relatable sort of protagonist drive. Yeah, I get it. Okay, now we have a pretty good shot at this guy. What's up? Get gone. Go for the finisher. Finish him. <laughs> Keanu Reeves is a wonderful person. I'm so sad I can't stand his acting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was different. I just couldn't let sleeping cats lie. Kick him in the head. You've performed beyond my wildest expectations. I don't think this is the end. Soon, all will be revealed. Well, we've only got two chapters left. <gasps> really? You're gonna leave us on that? Get effed, Panthro. <laughs> <sighs> Christy, you're the best. It was all a dream. Okay, but my cat is still here, and that's what matters. Aw, yay, Snuggles. What is the new act? Oh, so, uh, uh, uh? Um. There's fic that starts like this. And she's still half asleep. That's very in character. Couldn't tell me what happened to Raven or the Ark? I would have had to wait for her to fall asleep so the other her could awaken. Ugh, creepy other Cyania is creepy. Cyania's return meant Raven and the children of the Ark were alive! Hooray! Just knowing there was a chance, might be able to see them again, filled me with resolve. Keanu Reeves is the male Zoe Deschanel. Okay, uh, you know what, honestly? Yeah, that's, that's very apt. Official announcement, citizens of Hexville, today at Freedom Square. Oh, God. There will be an important announcement from Mayor Danelica. We're asking all citizens to gather there. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. <laughs> I was about to say, I've seen a lot of comics where a girl finds an unexpected bulge in her bed, but then an entire girl happened. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they weirdly skipped to the middle of the whole oh no there's only one bed in the hotel I guess I have to share it that's how Katie happened okay we're gonna have to have that conversation later Sandy, how can you always be so calm 
She's heavily sedated, Cat. Can't stop thinking something bad's about to happen, because it always does. Something good would be nice. You're funny. I just think that all bad things are good, and nothing but good things will happen. Okay. She's even more goth than I gave her credit for. Well done. You just have to go back into your mind and change the memories to make them better. Uh, okay. Uh, no. Okay. Just try to imagine how you would do things differently and make it so that's what happened. Then all the bad things change. Okay, sweetheart. Oh, sweetie. Oh, sweetie boo. We're going to have to get you some help after this is all said and done, yeah? You can't change the past. You only get one shot at it. Everything you remember about the past is all in your head, right? That's all that matters. Okay. I'm reminded of uh, the the Finch kid from What Remains of Edith Finch who worked in the the cannery with the fish who slowly just stepped away from reality. If you think something happened, then it did. But there's proof that things happened the way that they did. The other people who were with me at the time, things left behind. Well, if you discover a contradiction, you just have to go back when you discovered it and uncontradict it. What? Okay. One chance. One opportunity. <laughs> Would you waste it? That, that's not... Yeah, Cat, you're you're having an argument with someone who is, is not on the same plane here. I only exist in the present. So if I imagine myself happy up until now, then I've always been happy, right? Oh, boy. No, cat, do not try it. We are not editing the past. Look into my eyes and discover your memories again for the first time. Are you sure we're not in fanfiction? I feel like I remembered something like this back when I first met you. So what, she's your level select? She is my level select! That's hilarious! You could go back and do it again. Fabulous. No, we're not doing that. Because you really kind of disturbed me. Uh, we're not doing rift planes either. Alrighty. Let's get the heck out of the sewer where I'm starting to collect creepy companions. Oh, she comes in here with me, huh? That's, um... That would be less awkward if we hadn't just discovered that Cat sleeps in the nude. But whatever, we'll deal with that problem when we come to it. Let's we'll check out here. I don't remember where Freedom Square is. Actually, wait, I think I do. I think it's here. Let's find out. <laughs> oh my god, this is not an okay device for your level select. <laughs> I mean... Part of me kind of loves that they're actually rolling the mechanics into, like, in-universe uh, things because parts of the story of the universe are about creators and about messing with gravity and time. So you have an excuse to do, like, rewinds and stuff like that. I love that they're actually trying to build a fiction around that. It's just that Cyani is also really creepy. <laughs> Not that Gade and his whole, like, flashing you with other universes thing isn't also creepy. The end is nigh. You know, he's always looked to me like a the end is nigh kind of dude. You know what I'm talking about? Call it creator's intuition, but I sense a disturbance in the fabric of reality. Some might call it the force, as if a great many things were moving towards their conclusion. It may be your last chance to go to the Rift Plains or take care of other business. Okay, here we go. Final missions. Suppose it won't hurt to make sure I'm prepared for whatever the heck you're talking about. Fate is in your hands. Come to me when you're ready to begin the end. All right, well, we've got a thousand XP. We're gonna spend those first. Your mom is nigh. <laughs> I I don't even know where to go with that, but I love it. All right, health would probably be a good idea, huh? I can raise. Health is 600, and I can also raise Kick, which might not be a terrible idea. I've never once needed Stasis Field outside of a quest. Oh, I can make Spiraling Claw go up, though. 
Oh, gosh, 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 gosh. I think health is going to be more important. All right, we're going to go health. Yep. And we're going to go just base kick for when I get stuck on the ground, since I'm pretty sure it'll happen. There we go. You know what? I haven't used sliding kick yet, but because I might... Why not? All right. Let's do this, old man. Yeah, yada 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 da da dee. The beginning of the end. The end is very bright and verdant. Oh, I was just reminded there's been neighborhood watch flyers being placed all around the general area, but only on the white streets. Ah. Uh, Color me disappointed, but not surprised. Hey, Sid! Oh, the old man! Hi! He runs an ice cream store. I think I knew that and I totally forgot about it. Today's the day I finally make my big score. This cone's on the house. Hooray! Free ice cream! The fortune teller wearing the pillow on her head. Oh, the creepy doll! I forgot about the creepy doll. <laughs> Yes, I love his Rasta beanie. Yum, yum, yum. This reminds me of that Wonder Woman scene where she tells the ice cream vendor, You should be proud! Oh boy. Oh boy. I do appreciate the bright colors that they're lending to all this. They didn't go with like the harsh red and blacks of so many other like fascist overtones. It's like, no, it's a bright summery day. There are trees, birds are singing, and yet still just as awful. He's denied like his right-hand man. For nothing but bad thing. Who, a drone? Don't be silly! You, sweetie, you've met a drone. Who's the dude in the pickle hat that the dialogue box just covered up? We are gathered here today! Today is the day we rid ourselves of the Nevi menace. Join in welcoming our new savior. All of this language is terrible. Not as in the writing, but as in, like, you should be concerned. Reflects the realities of a modern regime better. Exactly. Exactly that. People are convinced that this is not normal. Oh boy. And the cheering and thunderous applause. That this is normal, yes sir. Perfect timing, wouldn't you say? Something's. Oh, yeah, there, there's Pickle Man. Hello, Pickle Man. I like your Pope hat. What a wonderful opportunity to demonstrate the awesome offensive capabilities of this fully armed and operational battle station. It's a Pokeball! It actually is a Pokeball. Holy crap, I was kidding. Cat! I turned myself into a pickle, cat! <laughs> uh, I've watched like half of one episode of Rick and Morty, but uh, it's enough to get that joke and I'm glad for that. Oh boy. Okie dokie. Ooh. Big fella right off the bat, huh? Well, you know what? Go big or go home! Interrupting important business. Did you just shoot me? Did you just shoot me? Alright, see, now I'm annoyed. It's not where I want that to go. That's what I get for rushing. into all the architecture. There we go. Let's get the flower. I see you trying to shoot me. Hey! That's rude. You think you are a Doomfist? Right. 
down. Recharge. And then we're going to take out Biggin. Have we learned nothing from my streams? You'd never rush. Especially in a game called Gravity Rush. I, I honestly, every time I find myself going, I'm rushing, I think of Dark Souls and you. You've taught me so much, and yet I've learned so little. I think that kind of makes Sid my Siegfried here. Or Siegmund? I can't remember. Siegmund! I was halfway between both. Gosh, I hate those guys. Whoop -a How did you dodge that? Dodge this. There we go. Come back here. Might as well while I'm here. You're gonna take all the credit anyway. You totally are. Wow. Yep. Whoop. Do do. That's knocking out. Oop. One more. Hey! What's up, swordfish? Alright, fine. Apparently that was enough. Started an off stream run as a pyromancer just so I can hug Sigurd more. <laughs> Legit though. Oh, what's up, you jerk? With your amazing hair. Provision 113 of the Anti Nevi Act. There are over 113 provisions, huh? Resistance would be futile. They keep almost quoting like every other sci fi franchise in existence. Gravity, wait and assess the situation, figure out plan of attack, and then cautiously break into battle. Yeah, that's not me at all. You're arresting me? Now? Here? In midair? The CNMNE can handle the Nevi. Your assistance is no longer required. That's not the same as a reason for arrest. We don't need your kind round here. Okay, thank you, Cap. Appreciate you saying what I was thinking. Aren't there more important things to deal with? We have to work together to save the city. This is every superhero's burden. Surrender quietly. Lady, have you met me? <laughs> is that like fairly bright most of the time, really, souls? <laughs> There's no need for this to get violent. Again, have you met me? Thank you, Cap. Orders, orders, orders. Do you always just do what your commander said? I thought he was better than some two-bit yes-man who does whatever the mayor asks. Unica, think about it. If he doesn't need me anymore, what's going to happen when it's your turn? Oh, that, that hit a nerve. I'd like to see you try! Ow! Okay, I lied just now when I said that. So you go past me. Too much. Too much. Put a lane against Interesting. Alright. Down we go. Why won't you come quietly? It'll be easier for the most of us. I don't know, I'm having a pretty good time of it myself. 
I come to think of it, the only time the series is ever oppressively dark is in the actual, literal, alternative timeline where the world ended. Which is a good time for darkness, really. <laughs> but she doesn't have a glowy yellow spot! How could she possibly be defeated? Aww. Hello, Jinx Kitty. My cat, meanwhile, is cleaning herself and summarily ignoring both me and the, the, the screen. I'm not going to go quietly. You want to arrest me? Come and get me! I'm feeling some serious Javert Jean Valjean sort of vibe here. Oh no, she's going to use her ultimate attack. Eventually, she's maybe going to... Missed me! Oh, okay, did miss me. Good call. Good call. Oh, you got way too close there. Go get her. Get her again. That'll do. <laughs> Musical theater reference, 10 points. I literally just went and saw Les Mis last Friday for the very first time. It was fantastic. I get Breath of the Wild. I bet he'll like that too. Yeah, honestly, I feel like Breath of the Wild is a very good cat watching game. Looks like a little tougher than you thought, huh? Maybe you should run back to your commander and request some new orders. Oh, cat, I love this sass. Where has this been all your life? Hmm. Engaging safety override. Oh, oh dear. Tush. It's, it's a short U. Pulse response and regulator in sync. Engineering reports uh, 105 on the reactor possible, but not recommended. I remember this part from Helsing. Alright, we should probably crash land for a moment. And run away. Long enough. Alright. Where'd you go? Because I'm not done kicking your butt yet. But first, I gotta heal. No offense, Yurika, but uh, power you've got, aim you don't seem to be doing as great on. You know, I just had to say something, huh? Yep. Ow. That's fair. That's a good shot. Good shot. But I needed. Okay. It's the first time that one's happened. Alright. This whole just running away from me thing is getting old. Dodge, and she's gonna kick my tail. Nope, still no green. Still no green. Aha, green! Much better. Alright, where was I? Alright. There we go. Ow. Yeah, this is that frickin' raven fight all over again, where it's like, you're not really giving me a way to dodge in midair, and that's problematic. Ow! Ah! 
Looks like that got her. Yes. I see zero health. Nope. That's right. There's a finishing move. Oh, you better believe we're knocking this one out. The Kromba rule is in effect. Power unlocked at highest level until target is permanently silenced. This is absolutely a Sonic the Hedgehog final boss. Uh, what? No, 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 no. No, give me my cat back. I will level this city. Do you hear me? That's an unnecessarily complex contraption. Oh, I remember this part from when I was in the Upside Down in Cube Space. Oh, we've come full circle. And that is why cats are scared of vacuums. <laughs> no, but seriously, I'm pissed. I'm going to level the city. Aha! An elaborate ruse! Your cat is now a Gaudy Spencer's gift. <laughs> Y'all, I swear to God. Mission accomplished. You really want me to believe that this was your plan the whole time? Shoot her in the face, Sid. Thank you, Sid. That's I didn't actually expect you to do it. That's uh, well done. Oh, you're not. Okay, that's... Good man. I knew you wouldn't go full Nazi on me. Oh no. I've completed my duty to the foul sea. It looks just like a... Uh, not a turkey baster, but uh, it's just a, a, a. Maybe it does. It does. It kind of looks like a giant turkey baster. You just committed treason, officer. Okay, but you're okay. You're pointing the barrel of the gun past his head, so he's already inside minimum effective range. And so she dies, but more elaborately. <laughs> Seems like shooting her would have been a better plan. See? See? This is why we get along, y'all. My orders come straight from the top. It's not our place to question our superiors. Stop fooling yourself. You say you're here to stop the Nevi, but what are you really after? I'm a charge of my laser. I'm here for the timely vintage 4chan memes. Is it a gun? Or a rapier? Or a dildo? Listen, don't limit yourselves. It could be all three. Hey, Pops, that thing's acting funny. Kid, no offense, but no one saw that thing until five minutes ago. How would you know? Something's wrong with an enemy. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, 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 God. Oh, God. Oh, it has missiles. Great. That's fantastic. Oh, oh, yes, bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. The city getting lasered, that's not so great. But the battle cruiser, go for it. Yes, the Rastaman kid has pink eyes. Not that kind of pink eye. Um, but that was also the kid who walked through a wall that wasn't there. Um, and I think that that's going to come back around because we, there was also a wall that wasn't there in the arc, which hasn't shown up again yet. Anyway, we'll get back to that in time. Eat! There she is! Oh, oh, she's in... She's in the other space. You'd risk disrupting fate? I hate to interfere, but I must protect the dream. Come on, Sid. Disrupt fate. Disrupt fate, Sid. Guardian, fulfill your role. I release you so that you may free the shifter. She's gonna free my cat! I don't care how creepy you are, you're now my best friend. You, too, are but a figment of the dream. You must fulfill your role as well. Sid, I would... I'm getting some weird, like, Wolf's Rain vibe off of this all of a sudden. Sid, I would not blame you for just, like, punching her in the face. Just throwing that out there. Okay, uh, I think it is time to go take on... Oh, sweetheart. Oh, oh, oh boy, that's... Okay. Honestly, that would be a bad way to go for anybody, let's be honest. I 
my magic. Well, technically my cat is magic, but it's like me. Surprised to see me? Cat, you picked the most awkward times to flirt. What's your super weapon doing to the city? Uh, it looks like it's lasering the crap out of it. Why is it just you out here fighting it? Where's Yuri? Where's the army? Battleship was destroyed. The chain of command is broken. It's up to me. <laughs> okay, listen. Uh, I'm a, as big a fan of rubbing her face in it as the next person, but let's let's stop this thing, yeah? This is a military operation. You just be getting in the way. Okay, Eureka, sweetheart. Pragmatism dictates. Tis but a scratch. If I reroute power to the repair systems, I'll be fine. Yeah, the military's honor is really not the thing that matters right now. Oh, thank you, Cat. You said the same thing. <laughs> Sid just shrieks like a little girl and punches her and runs. That does seem pretty in character for him. He's kind of like Jean from Ruby. Anemone? Inside it's... Aside, inside it's what? Inside it's what? Finish that sentence. Alright, how do I stop this? Let's get a little bit of distance. I'll wind up here. I do like that helmet. Got kind of a whole like. Okay, now we've gone full Mega Man. Aha! Aha! Yes! That's what I needed. Do that like six more times. I wish you luck with the dishes. Aim for the exposed core! Alright, I like your headset. I'm sure she's fine. Back to the exception of a ghost who is already dead. I don't think it's anyone's. I don't think anyone's actually died so far this game. The military super weapon is out of control and destroying Hexville. Each attack against the city raises its destruction level. Once it reaches 100, Hexville will be lost forever. This isn't going to be stressful as hell, huh? All right, here we go. Good start. Very good start. Missed it. Oh boy, come on, move. Yeah, it's already at 22? Seriously? Wow, that's, that is very hard to hit, huh? Oh, come on! You suck. Alright, unfortunately I do need to peel off. Okay. Fair enough. Get away. Thank you. Uh, 34. Not great. Not great. Come on. Stop. Pause. Nope. Alright. Fair enough. Ow! Okay. I have to be off to get health. Well, okay, the whole little rotating thing is really just sort of obnoxious. It's like it's just dumb damn luck to hit the stupid thing, huh? news is, it's mostly dead, and I've got my superpower back. Go get it. That's right. What's up, pal? Yes! Aw, thank you for believing in me, Jake. I appreciate that. Oh, oh no, it's not over. That was stage one. Tried to build weapons using Nevia's power sources? Arrogant fools. As if they could control that kind of power. 
No offense, Gade, but you have a singularity in your dong, so maybe now is not the time to go throwing stones. Emergency override, huh? It'd be a small sacrifice to make for the greater good. Listen, aside from the pragmatic realities of trying to control the Nevi and weaponize them, uh, I have some actual, like, serious ethical issues with that. We still don't really know the nature of the Nevi. Ow. That's what I need. That's what I need. Come here, my little green friend. Okay, fair enough. God, you're worse than the damn swordfish. Stop. And turn. And kick. Screw you. Screw you. There we go. Okay. Keep moving. Keep moving. There we go. Good, 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 good. That's just obnoxious. Nope, come on, stop. Okay, this is just annoying. There we go, two down. Alright, destruction level's only at 56, that's a... Could be worse. Crap, I need some health. I'm not seeing any... Not good, not good. Get out of here, swordfish. No one has time for you. Listen, I'm just telling like it is. Please be enough. Please be enough. Yay! Thank you for being enough. you're not eating your controller right now. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear you say that, because I, I feel like, um, especially with these guys where I line up a kick, and just before my heel connects with it, it rotates or turns, uh, just send me up the wall. Uh, the flowers would hit me and interrupt me. The, um, what do you call them? The swordfish guys dodge at the last second, and it's just, oh, it's irritating. All right, let's grab some health before we really kick things off here. Destruction level 62 is manageable. Still not a huge amount of health. Ah, whoop. Did. Pass. All right. Uh, so... Now what? Nope, can't even dent it. Uh, here's a thought. Come oh, there we go. Terra hold in space time! This will be my final act of interference with the dream. I'm honestly, I'm glad, because I'm, I'm thinking back to the very first session of this I played, uh, where just handling the stop and start and reorienting in midair was super daunting, and now it feels like second nature. Like, it feels like playing Tracer in Overwatch, where you, once you finally hit that groove with understanding how Blink works, and it just flows, I'm there with that. Um, I'm still missing because of some of the, the enemy dynamics, but I, I like, in moving through the air, it feels just so much more fluid now, and I love it. But I'm looking forward to Gravity Rush 2 now. Over here, use your power on me! Okay. Cat! See? Flash of singularity. Egon, you said don't cross the streams. Here I come! 
Spirit bomb time. Ah, Wow. What a way to go. Ooh, nice landing. What the? Oh, the arc! Hi! Seriously, you had it the whole time? Don't throw the kids at it. What are you doing? That's very unsafe. Okay, throw the raven at it, though. That's a really good idea. Kick its ass, baby. I got your flower. <laughs> Enjoy shower. Shower always good. Nobody's not responding. We have no choice. We must engage the override. Unfortunate, but necessary. Anemone will take Venda Center out when it blows. It's a little early, but consider the population reduction plan to now be in effect. Okay, buddy. When I find you, I'm feeding you your own goatee. Okay, mark my words. Thanks so much for stopping in, Jake. <laughs> Here's the override switch. You may want to at least give them a running start. Beloved people of Hexville, calmly evacuate the area. Anemone's self-destruct sequence has been activated. Come on, Raven, you're not surprised. Just signed their death sentence. Death warrant, I think, is what you were going for. But, you know, it's close enough. It's close enough. I keep missing you. Alright. Fair enough. It's like the worst game of Lucio Ball ever. That's not true. There are far worse games of actual Lucio Ball. Alright. I think we're in a rhythm. Hooray! Alright, Eureka. Raven, this better not be a sacrifice fly or I'll be very upset with you. Woo. Alright, alright, I get it. Ah, don't die. Not now, please. Yeah, come on. Come on. Timed quests are the absolute pain of my existence. Right, what am I trying to do? Right, let me go a slightly closer one. Absolutely kind of lost the plot right here. But as long as I'm not dead, I'm pretty happy about it. to do something with you? Or am I just trying to... Ugh, I'm lost. I don't know what I need to do. Okay. Apparently, that was it, maybe? Was I luring it close to you? Let's hope. That's kind of what I was hoping I was trying to do. was just get close to you guys. Got it.
Alright, get away! Get away! Keep getting away. Piss off! Piss off! Come on, come on. That'll do. Maybe. Yes. Please! Mega Buster! God, it really is, too. What? Aww. Not entirely sure what's happening right now. Whoop, whoop, come on. Whoop. Hey, boy. Get him. One minute to go. Please work. Please work. Why? Why is this not working? Sorry, this worked last time. To get next to you instead, maybe? Yes. Okay. Whew. All right. Let's do this. The shield is down! Start your attack run! Yes! What's up? Kiriko, don't die. Can't believe I'm saying that, but listen, a lot's changed in five minutes. <laughs> Come on, cat, get in there. Oh, that's just regular horn, but still. One shot. One opportunity. Alrighty. Oh, we're gonna Sailor Moon this crap. In the name of the moon, I'ma kick your ass! It need go something like that, right? In the name of Bast. <laughs> Mox and Emily. <laughs> <laughs> Have I mentioned you're the best? Oh, please tell me it drops right on him. That's what I'm talking about. Yes! Yes! Nerf this! That's what's up. Hello, good people of Hexville. I am your god now. Aww. I mean, that was super cool, but kind of also a little bit abrupt. Graphic Queen returns, saves the city again. Mayor Danelica hospitalized. Citizens demand resignation. <laughs> he survived that, huh? Alright. Lost children continue to hibernate aboard Ark. Hmm. All right, one more follow-up here. So we have a lot of questions left unanswered, but there is a whole other Gravity Rush game, so... I'm curious to see where they go in the second installation. I just realized that between Cat's outfit and Raven's outfit, you have one complete set of clothes. My fault, there might have been another way to bring them back. Raven, what did you do? The Ark will guard the children until it is their time to rise. The figments of the dream are coming together to return light to the world. That's what someone in a dream told me to tell you anyway. I was noticing that her hair was not going all wibbly. Eh, <laughs> that's an appropriate response. Ahoy! I mean, he said oi, but. Not feeling particularly cockney at the moment. Dude, I am always up for some ice cream.
I've heard of girlfriends that share each other's clothes, but girlfriends that split each other's clothes is a new one. Yeah, that's a little, um... You know, listen, I don't judge. Oh, Mayor. The shifter couldn't possibly be. That's right, I am the Space Pope. Commander, you should be in bed. Everything is under control. Even soldiers need their rest. Kind of like how quickly she arced. That made me happy. Kind of a whole Kuvira situation. This is but the calm before the storm. Oh, I'm not loving that armband, though. The Harbinger of Destruction shall descend from on high. The Ark had completed its journey, and the city in the clouds is returning to normal. I love this music. Alright, ice cream! There were no more Nevi sightings. The threat seemed to finally be over. Eek! Okay, that's adorable. So waiting for the Lost Ride tribe of children to awaken, I tried my best. I missed it. Peace is often fleeting. And so